Hello, everybody, and welcome to the beautiful Metuchen Inn here in Metuchen. This is one of many of our art exhibits. I want to thank the Metuchen Inn, their staff, and in particular, Victor and Constantine, for allowing us to hold our exhibit here. If you come here to have lunch or dinner, you will be so impressed with the service, the food, and the atmosphere. I would also like to um, talk about the fabulous artists that we have on display today and thank them for their wonderful talent, which if it weren't for them, we wouldn't be here. There are several people who got awards for first, second, third, and honorable mention. I want to invite our art director to come up. Tejal Shaw is the Edison Art Society's art director. And she really pulled this art together, and we're so proud of her, and we thank you thank so you. much. We thank you so much for being part of the Edison Art Society. Come and see us. We're fun. Hello. I am so pleased and proud to introduce one of our very special artists, and her name is Nella. And she did, created this beautiful work, and she got first place today, so we're really excited. And I want to ask you, how long have you been painting? All my life. That's a good answer. I'm so pleased to introduce Ray Skabinski. Ray, at our last art exhibit, was the judge, and he was so impressed that he decided to participate. <laughs> Well, I've been a member of the Edison Art Society for so many years, and then uh, I just decided to, uh, to involve myself again, uh, because it seems to be uh, going up now with, um, with um, Gloria as its, as its person in charge, and I, she's doing a fantastic job. So, uh, what else do you want to know? I want you to talk about the painting. Uh, when we were traveling through uh, the United States, with my son, and we went to California, and then we passed through New, Ham New, New Mexico. And of course, we went to Taos, and, um, and I took a road trip and happened to see this little church, and I just stopped and took a picture. So this is not, I wasn't sitting out there and painting it, but I did take, uh, I, I, it's one of my photographs, and I did paint it from the photograph. So it's a, a nice mem remembrance of that trip. Is that how you usually do it? You take a photograph and paint from the photograph? I also do a plein air. So when I do that, I have all my equipment and uh, I sit there and, and paint. But uh, when we're traveling, you know, it's just not... Too bulky. It, well, it's not convenient because people don't want to sit there and paint and sit there while I'm painting. So, Got it. So. Tell us what... Um, is it an oil, a watercolor? It's a watercolor. And... Um, I like to do watercolors because I, I can do them quickly uh, and, I, and I don't have to really spend a lot of time otherwise I have to take them home and then trans, translate that into a, an oil so uh, I do that too but um, but this just seemed to to want to be watercolor it's a very southwestern feel when you look at the um at the uh, artwork, it just is so comfortable and relaxing. And, and with all this dry brush, these, these little uh, whatever it is so typical of the Southwest. So, Tumbleweed? Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're so glad that you joined us this year. Well, let's hope that we're going to have some great exhibits now. We shall. I can promise you that. I hope so. Thank you. Teresa is going to talk to us about her beautiful beautiful artwork. Hi, um, I traveled to China in 2009 and I spent one week in Beijing. Um, when I went I had no intentions or ideas about making a painting or, or work about this, this trip, but when I was there I did a lot of photography and it, I was really interested in sort of the culture of the people and how so many Chinese people were tourists at all of the sites, even more so than foreign tourists. And they were all taking photos of each other in front of these tourist sites. And so I had loads of photos of Chinese tourists in their own country. And when I came home, 
I don't know, this idea just came to me to make this series about this artwork. And I wound up spending the next three years making work about China. I knew I wanted it to be nearly life-size, so I had these large um, sheets of paper. They're actually imported from France. They're 60 inches by 40 inches. And I worked with a combination. I, I, I don't work from photographs. I'm more of an expressionist painter. And so I worked um, with a combination of imagination, memory, and photos, you know, and made these compositions. And this particular one is called The People's Pleasures. And in the parks in China, there's often these people who swirl these big red um, pieces of silk or, or ribbons. And in the painting, I used it kind of as a painting device to connect these areas. And there was also this really adorable little boy, and I asked his mother if I could take his picture, and he had this puffy little red jacket, and he was standing on a wall, and he was just so cute. <laughs> and so I combined them in this painting. Well, it's be absolutely beautiful. And I'd like you to tell us the type of medium. It's oil paint, and I use willow stick, which is a soft um, charcoal. So I didn't really sketch out most of this. I drew directly on this big paper. It was a little <laughs> scary. <laughs> and, um, and I draw with the willow stick, but then I use the paper like a blackboard. So I'd use a cloth and just rub away and then redraw until I get it the way I wanted. And then I, I work the surface with oil paint, um, a, a number of layers. How long did it take you to create this? It took, these each took quite a long time. Um, some of them I would work like 12 hour days working on them um, and go back into them numerous times. Mm -hmm. There's layering in this painting you can see in the green area. Um, but also just to get the kind of surface I wanted and the density of the paint, I had to go back and layer them. Well, it's absolutely beautiful, and we're so glad you're part of the Edison Art Society. Thank you so much for having me. And have you enjoyed the exhibit, other than your own piece? I, I've loved everything I've seen. I'm really impressed with what I've seen, and the venue is beautiful. Well, thank you. The Metuchen Inn is proud to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we're here today at the Edison uh, Art Society's exhibit at the beautiful Metuchen Inn. And one of our artists is Rick Bachman. Bachman. And Rick has been with us many times at our various exhibits. And uh, I'm going to ask Rick, is this a photograph or a... This is a photograph. Uh, this is the Taj Mahal, obviously, uh, in India. And uh, I, I've done a lot of traveling. I've been to 82 countries already. And I have to say that uh, India is probably in one of the most magnificent photographic countries that I've been to. And the Taj Mahal is probably the nicest structure that I've seen anywhere in the world. Well, that's a pretty wonderful statement. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. It looks so real. I mean, I can feel I'm on, that, uh, on the path there, just walking to the Taj Mahal. It's really gorgeous, gorgeous work. And were you happy with the theme of the... Uh, oh, I I love the theme. I mean, uh, I, I have thousands and thousands of pictures, you know, of traveling to, like I said, the 82 countries. So this is uh, was the hardest part was picking which pictures to, uh, to show. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice problem to have, isn't it? <laughs> now, can you tell me how long it uh, takes you to get it the way you want? I, I understand this is larger than what you would usually have, or no? Uh, a little bit larger, you know, but uh, the equipment I use, you know, allows me to blow them up to different sizes. But the hardest part in taking a picture like this is patience. You have to wait until the thousands of people that are there with you are all pretty much out of the picture or blending in, you know, to the yes, picture yes. itself and not walking in front of you. And sometimes you, you could sit there for an hour, two hours, waiting for that one second where everything is just right. But you timed it beautifully because it is absolutely magnificent. And we thank you so much. Could you, since you've been a part of the Edison Art Society for a while, can you tell me how happy you are to be a member? 
Uh, I'm extremely happy because, you know, there's there's very little ways that you can get your work out to the public, at least in the area that, you know, you live in. And mm -hmm. uh, this has really, you know, been very nice. That's why I've been with Edison Art Society, because there's different mediums. There, there's all over the town hall, the hospital, uh, the college. I mean, you know, these are all places where different people from the town come. So it's a great way to show your work. And um, I think you'll agree that art is so uplifting for people especially after this dreary winter that we've had yeah that a day like today kind of uh, is the cherry on top of the cake yes it is <laughs> <laughs> it's just it, and today's a nice beautiful day you know so it's it's worked out very nice yeah god, god loves us <laughs> thank you very much thank you we're at the uh, metuchen inn the beautiful metuchen inn at the edison art society's art exhibit and i have with us one of our lovely artist and her name is Marianne and she's going to tell us a little bit about this beautiful piece that is behind me. So uh, tell me the medium, wait until I give you the mic, tell me the medium and how long it took you to do it. Uh, it is a photograph of the San Gimignano Tower in Tuscany, Italy. Um, we walked up the tower and took the photo in an early morning light with the fog. It was beautiful, rolling fog. And we loved Italy. We've traveled extensively, um, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, uh, France. But Italy had the most beautiful, as they say, it's a cliche, but had the most beautiful light. And it's absolutely true. And it was one of our favorite trips. And I just loved the photographs that I took there. And I have plenty others. So I mean. And how long did it take you to, to get that right picture? Did you have to um, wait had, for the sun or I, the moon? Or? Well, we had to wait a little bit because it was a little darker prior to that, but not very long. And I have a few other views. I have an actual landscape view of it, too, that I was thinking of including, but I didn't. So maybe next time. You know, I'm looking forward to uh, the next show. <laughs> That is wonderful to hear. That's music to my ears because we are planning another show. Uh, and the venue will be just as wonderful as today's venue. And we've had more artists participate at this particular uh, exhibit than we have before. So the artwork keeps growing and growing. We keep meeting more beautiful artists who love to share their um, love and their passion for art, I guess I could say that. <laughs> and when we've had such a dreary winter, we, we really look forward to a nice day with something pretty to look at. And Thank this you. is certainly fulfilled. Thank you very much. Oh, you're I look quite forward wet. to the next show. I really do. Oh, I'm you'll so see, happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you, Marianne.